Looking for love in 2023 could be as easy as picking up your phone. Dating apps have become the norm. And professional matchmaker Maria Abgatidis says they're not going anywhere. Now to not be online is to not have an email. It's the equivalent. But she also says people are literally tired of swiping. Dating has shifted dramatically in the last 30 years just on its own. I think there's been like five different waves and we're currently experiencing extreme dating fatigue wave, um, you know, where people just don't want to spend any more time online. They just want to go out. They want to go out on the date. And, and I do advise people like, you know, if you're online, no more pen pals, like you have to use the dating apps as a method to go offline. Laura Thompson is a full-time nurse going back to school and dating. She says getting off the apps is sometimes hard to do. I think it's a lot easier to dismiss people and just you kind of move on to the next person. It's like those dopamine hits when you're swiping. Um, you know, it's the same with a lot of the scrolling on the apps. You get those dopamine hit and it's just you just move on to the next person. But people do have success online. A lot of it. I think it's like something like more than 60 percent of relationships started online. Uh, so that is uh, it, it is the majority of how people meet. That's digital dating, but for Laura Thompson, she knows both digital and what experts call analog dating. And she says there are pros and cons to both. I think they both have pros and cons. When you're, you know, the analog dating, it, your circle can get pretty small, um, or you know people, so it's harder to be like, oh yeah, I can see myself with a romantic partner with this person, versus you know, the digital dating, your circle expands. You get to see people, meet people who you wouldn't necessarily meet versus like if they're just in a different town, if they're in a different area, you know, you can expand your circle a little bit better that way, um, which is good. But then, you know, those people don't come with, like their friends don't get to tell you all their pros and cons before. They don't get to, <laughs> uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Get the references. Yeah, they don't come with a reference sheet. <laughs> Matchmaker Maria says there are other aspects of dating that have changed as well. I feel like a lot of first date rules went out the window after the 2016 election, where people started talking a lot more, more about politics, because that is still a pretty big deal breaker in the United States uh, for a lot of people. She says those deal breakers have also changed. Prior to 2016, the number one deal breaker in dating was always smoking. Now smoking is number two for most people. After the 2016 election, it became politics and co political compatibility. Um, after 2020, it was, uh, and in fact, not 2020, in 2021, the next uh, big deal breaker was are you vaccinated? And it wasn't just us. Um, OkCupid, okay Hinge, a lot of online dating apps started coming out with um, with emojis that showed if you were vaccinated or not. So that became the new deal breaker. Now in 2023, and this actually started in the summer of 2022, the, the new deal breaker, and it goes across the spectrum, is uh, your uh, stance on a woman's right to uh, a full health care. And as people get more comfortable coming out of the pandemic, more casual dates have taken over dinner and cocktails. And if you're one of the people swiping for a soulmate, experts say, put the phone down, hold your friends accountable and go out. I think it's going to get better. I think part of it is, you know, when you go out with friends and everything, I think people do tend to just stick with their friend group. We don't like go off and mingle with other people at the bar like you used to. So, but I think coming out of the pandemic, maybe that'll start to get better again. You can meet people that way. Um, and then maybe we'll all just, you know, get a little bit more patience and <laughs> not just write off someone for an awkward comment. <laughs> I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.